Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and Spanish veteran Fernando Vadasco has been banned for two months after testing positive to a banned substance back in February on the Challenger circuit. Let's go have a read of what the ITIA had to say about Vadasco's ban. This is the statement from the International Tennis Integrity Agency. They say the ITIA has confirmed that Fernando Vadasco, a 38-year-old tennis player from Spain, has accepted a charge under the 2022 tennis anti-doping program for the presence of the ADHD medication methylphenidate in a urine sample. The player accepted a voluntary provisional suspension and will serve a period of ineligibility of two months. Let's go have a look at what Nick Kyrgios had to say in response because we do know Vadasco and Kyrgios have had some beef over the years. He retweeted an article on the ban and said, can't say I'm surprised with this one. So a little bit of shots fired there in the direction of Vadasco who over the years, him and Kyrgios have not seen eye to eye. So there you have it, Vadasco banned for a couple of months and he'll be eligible to come back in January just before the Australian Open. So the ban ends in a couple of months and he'll be able to play probably at the Australian Open. And it's weird because he has been slogging it on the Challenger circuit and the qualifiers for the last couple of years now. It's been really interesting to see how his career, uh, you know, back in 2009-10 where he was at the peak and the heights of his career, how, you know, a decade later he's still slogging it out but he's not getting the wild cards that maybe he deserves because he is a very good player and he was a very great player in his day. And it looks like a big mistake. Nick Kyrgios also had to say some words. That was uh, interesting to see that he had some uh, had some comments on it. But I think it's been an honest mistake. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you reckon? We've had a couple of players now, high profile names, or at least players that we all know of, if you've been following tennis for the last couple of years. Uh, Vadasco, Halep, getting busted for, uh, for what seems innocent mistakes. We still don't know much about the Halep situation and how sinister that was, or if it's totally a mistake as well. But this seems like he just took some medication that was on the ban list and he didn't realize it. But Vadasco, he won't be playing for the next couple of months.